Google doesn't usually pay catch up, but the Godzilla of online search engines is doing just that with the rollout of its new artificial intelligence chatbot called Bard. To experience the new chatbot, users can sign up on a waiting list. It's being rolled out first in the US and the UK. Bard is meant to rival ChatGPT, but Google acknowledges Bard still has a lot to learn and says continued feedback from experts and users will help with improvements of the responses. Josh Constein is a venture partner in venture capital fund SignalFire. He joins us now from San Francisco. Welcome back. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, so here's part of a statement which came from Google as they opened up Bard for a limited number of users. Uh, While large language models are an exciting technology, they're not without their faults, for instance, because they learn from a wide range of information that reflects real-world biases and stereotypes. Those sometimes show up in their outputs, and they can provide inaccurate, misleading, or false information while presenting it confidently. I know that. All about that. Um, Rolling out a new product with a disclaimer which suggests it's not exactly ready for prime time doesn't suggest a lot of confidence in all this right now. You know, Google Bard is named after the poets and singers of old who used to tell those salacious stories like William Shakespeare, but don't expect to get anything too spicy out of its responses. Google is deeply afraid of its brand being tarnished by misuse of its AI. And that's why whenever you put a question into the Bard box, it actually gives you three responses to kind of limit its liability. And it's constantly disclaiming that, no, you should not be looking at this for facts. So while it can be useful for pulling up you know, a, a group of uh, opinions or calling together information, if you want a specific fact, it might not work that well, which is exactly what happened at the embarrassing launch of Google Bard last month when it first debuted it and it got an answer wrong in front of everybody. Yeah. But still, what I th- I think this is exciting though because finally we have we have competition. You know, after an age of monopoly in technology where, you know, Facebook ruled social networking and Google ruled search, we have real competition in the AI market which is going to benefit users with better capabilities and benefit startups as they all vie to offer the best developer platform. 